Well, guys, we got done with that one box of pennies that we picked up from a Wells Fargo out in Livermore, California today. There's all everything we're going to take back. There's all the copper. I haven't decided if I'll just toss that back since it's going to be a little heavy to carry back. And I might have three times that much um, on the trip back home. But as you can see, there's a fair amount of copper. I have not weighed it or counted it, but it looks to be a little lighter than what I normally get in a box. Now, coming back to what we found, uh, two piles here. This one has six. This one has four in it. I'm going to keep these six. These are the 2009 series, as you can see. At Lincoln on a log, it did not have the extra finger. These are going to go back because they've got just a little more uh, grime or, or marks on them uh, to where I won't keep those. We did find seven wheat pennies. The last 20 or so rows were ice cold. Go back, uh, The probably the find of this bunch was the 1931 Philly that we got there. We had a 44S. A 46 Philly, a 47 Denver, 51 Denver, 52 San Francisco, and a 54 Philly. So all three mints. Nice to see two of them were from San Francisco since we're out this way. Uh, come back to that one. We got four Canadian cents, which is a little more than what we normally get. Find to the box. I'm not sure what we've got here just yet. Because the color of whatever this rim is is very off. And you can see kind of little hints of extra metal between the, the scent and this rim. But you can also see that something's going on with that. There's no clear lettering. I can't get a date off of it. You can see a little bit of the detail. But it doesn't look like it was fully struck or just struck kind of weird. It is a shield scent. And uh, same story on the back. You can almost it almost looks like this thing was soldered onto this scent for some reason, almost like it's a bezel of some sort. But weird. I've never found one quite like that, and I found two of them that have been trimmed down to the size of a dime, and this is about what that is. Only the rim is very complete, very smooth. It's just thicker. And seems to have something going on like it's been added to it or something. Kind of sloppy work there. But I don't know what's going on with that one. I'm going to hang on to it and maybe have somebody take a little better look at it and see what's going on. If you have some thoughts on what it is, I would love to hear it in the comments. And uh, hopefully this will be something that uh, might have some value. It might just be some post mint damage somebody playing around with it but uh so there's the fines there's the copper there's everything going back this one's just got some really funky coloring i just thought i'd set it aside thanks for watching guys if you enjoy this give me a thumbs up leave a comment um check out the rest of the channel and some of the longer live streams short videos all of it is great to have you um, take advantage of taking, uh, taking a look at it. We'll see you again soon on a, on a stream.